calling all nerds. This is More Than Dice, the podcast where we dive deep into the realms of everything nerdy. Whether you're a nerd culture connoisseur, a tabletop titan, a miniature gaming marveler, or just someone who proudly embraces their inner geek, this is the podcast for you. And now here's your host, Gonzo, Nerd, and Mizzy. Welcome to another episode of More Than Dice. I'm Gonzo. I'm Nerd. And I'm Mizzy. <laughs> Tonight we're going to be talking about hobbying, doing hobbying stuff, and working on all of our projects because we've got a lot of projects because my two co-hosts actually have to paint a miniature for someone else because of the mini painting exchange that came and happened. Um, you say that like I'm not done already. Oh, well, they've got projects to work on, and I, of course, have got miniatures <laughs> to work on, too. Uh, but we're welcome to episode 320. Um, it is going to be a wild and crazy time, but we're going to be working on this stuff. Um, we're just going to have a good time hanging out, you know, painting miniatures type thing. Okay. Um, hey. <laughs> So, uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and get to the business. We want to thank Cuttlefish Colors for sponsoring the channel and providing us with an awesome paint and glazing, sketch and glazing system on our paints. Uh, we want to thank Turbo Dork, the makers of fine metallic and turbo shifting paints. Um, we want to thank them a ton for that. Um, we want to thank uh, Creature Casters, makers of awesome miniatures and the makers of Judgment. Um, and if you like having a uh, subscription service, they do their My Mini Factory page where you can get 10 to 12 miniatures and uh, a fifth edition module to go with the miniatures so you can play with them at the same time. Um, so make sure you go check them out. If you haven't tried out Judgment, you should go do that. The rules are online and also the miniatures are really, really good. Um, you only need seven to play the game at its highest point value. So we're all looking forward to that. Uh, I have only what three miniatures to paint, and I will be good to go for Adepticon if Mizzy and I decide we're going to play an Adepticon or not. Um, but we're kind of getting stuff ready for Adepticon because you know they require fully painted, and so we are looking forward to it. Um, I think I got everybody, didn't I? Yep, I did. Woohoo! I'm proud of you guys, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we are planning on, all of us are planning on attending Adepticon, so we're kind of getting some of our stuff done early. Um, getting our 75 100 point list for War Machine and any other small game that we're looking to play at Adepticon. It just all depends. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it also depends on what they're going to have there this year. Um, True. I'm sure they're going to have plenty of stuff, but we don't plan on bringing huge armies like 40K or anything like that. Uh, we're planning on bringing small stuff um, to go along with it, depending on what we have and depending on where we're going to go with it. So we will have to wait and see. Um, I'm hoping I can get some Warcrow in. I really want to play. Hopefully the elves start coming out pretty soon. Um, and I can get, you know, a good elf army started, um, whenever we go, cause I'd rather play elves than the hegemony, but I have to, I'll play the hegemony, uh, type thing. So, um, do we have any shout outs this week? Uh, yes, we've got one. Give me a second. Cause I'm totally prepared for this. I sent one and I'm totally blinking on his name. It's the guy who illustrated the Magic School Bus books. Bruce Deegan. That's the one that Thank I was looking you. for. Yes. Yeah, he illustrated all the Magic School Bus books and such. And I mean, he was 79 years old. But I mean, those books are iconic. So, you know, that was uh, a pretty big thing. Um, yeah. So we're, also, um, just so everybody knows, a lot of us have started moving our social media accounts over um, and securing names, if anything, to uh, Blue Sky. So if you're, you know, uh, 
moving away from certain platforms. I know a bunch a bunch of miniature and hobby people have moved to Blue Sky recently. So, um, other than that, um, Mizzy, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, I've got some Razzleberry Peace Tea. Ooh, that's a good one. Because it's delicious. And I decided I wanted to treat myself from the dollar store. <laughs> Nerd, what are you drinking tonight? Good old H2O. Good old H2O. Razzleberry <clears throat> is fun to say, War Budgies. They've also got that Snowberry that's pretty good. Eric got that too. I like I like the the peachy peach cane, I think it's called. Yep. Yep, yep. Gonzo, what you got? I got good old H2O. Um I've got to just make sure that I'm drinking appropriately and stuff and so I'm just drinking some good old H2O. Hydrate themselves. Got to hydrate before I dihydrate. So, uh guys, um as usual, please take care of yourself. Please look after each other. Um, please do everything you can to make sure that you're looking after your fellow human. Um, a lot of people are in a fragile spot right now, and we just need to make sure we're checking in on everybody. So we love you. Cheers. 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 <sighs> oh, shit. You said checking in on things, and I remember that. I don't think I've checked on my finch today. <gasps> that busy. I'm terrible. I know. Let's fix that. Hold on. Super oh, easy. Let's get over to the paint camp. Today. This You're... is fine. Everything is fine. Tara. Hey. Yeah, Tara's like, "What you doing?" And I'm like, "Podcast." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh shit, now go and watch then. So um <clears throat> so we're having a podcast, we're having a hobby day is what we're gonna be doing. Um we've got projects that we need to work on and other things, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we figured we would just do a good old hobby day and talk about some hobby stuff. Oh, I did say that I would show Mizzy's model off. So here is the tiny, tiny one. And I'll go. Oh, it's super tiny. Yeah. Let's see. That is Zephyr. The <laughs> uh the Sylph animal handler trainer. Person but, thing. <clears throat> you know me, I can't just do everything like normal. And so I supersized it. It's not primed, so it's gonna be Hard to see some details, and there's going to be some scuff marks where it's superficial scuff marks from pulling off supports, which you won't be able to see once you prime it. Because I also did one of our other players and primed her character in black. And so you don't have any problems with that one. That one turned out really nice. Mm -hmm. I got a support, it looks like, right? I got a support that I missed. I love right. that she included her backpack. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing she had money for. Yay, Patrick is fully evolved. So. Yay. And also this week, I got our dice in, by the way. Dice? Oh, dice. Yes. Um, you, you, you plus, I also it. printed off one of my NPCs. And I'm going to probably reprint him later, but I wanted to do it. Because uh, if you weren't here for the pre ramble, uh, my resin printer kind of crapped out. And since it crapped out, uh, I bought a new one. And I got to do some new 3D printing, some new resin printing with it. So nothing bad. I mean, bad enough that I had to buy a new one, but still nothing horrible. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's going to work out. Um, 
So I am going to be working on this mic. Working on my Necrofactorium, my commanders. I need to get them painted up because I am going to be try to get because as soon as I get done with my Necrofactorium, getting my hundred point list ready, um, I have to get a another model ready and painted up and so on and so forth for someone else so they can use it at Adepticon. Because we, we need that in our life. Someone needs a second Abyssal King. Yes. And so I have to get a second Abyssal King. Needs, wants, cannot live without, must do shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. That, that me. And that model's a very huge... You can't even call it a, a miniature anymore. Yeah, but if you just, you know, slowly lose your sanity and don't sleep for, you know, three days, you'll be able to get it done in no time. It's fine. Yeah. Is that how that works? That is exactly how that works, based on real life experience. Uh, I've got a small problem with this base. Hold on a second, folks. I need to fix a model and glue it. So glue speaking it. of goblins... I am actually priming up my two goblins from Creature Caster's Judgment, Bale and Sorna, because I need to get them ready to go, and I need to use them. Use them in your lists? Yep. So... Being the overachiever that I am, I will have eight models instead of seven. <laughs> well, one of the models is two models. Yes. One of your picks is two models, not one model. Yes. Unlike mine, all of my guys are single models. And like I said, I got three models to paint for that, which won't take long at all. But son of a bitch. Got to fix it again. I've already started messing this model up. Sorry. Don't do the, that. Well, the biggest problem is, is I have to... The... to fix all the glue stuff. Why did I pick something this big to paint individual scales? Do I really hate myself this much? Yes. Yes, because yes, of who it's for and it's going to be worth it and you're going to love it when it's done. There's things that you will do for other people that you will not do for yourself. That's how that works. And to be fair, this is a badass model. Exactly. Must do justice. So, have you guys found it out or heard anything more about this? Uh, what's going on with Resin Beast? No, I actually tried to find something on that, by the way. And I couldn't find anything. That, you know, Creature Caster and... Um, Uh, I will ask uh, Panda where she heard it because she's who I heard it from. Because I haven't heard anything on it from uh, what should we call it? The uh, Conquest and Resin Beast not working together anymore. Not unheard of. Just I haven't seen anything because they're still listed on there. So you have to ask her where she's heard that news. Yeah. Because there's... Uh, 
Alfonso is my new source. If you don't know, then I don't know. <laughs> That's fair. That's usually me and Ryan. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. I checked their web page. Um, Did Parabellum post anything? I didn't mm -hmm. see if they posted anything. Hmm. And it may it may have been said in like a chat or Discord or something, but definitely it's not being said out in the open yet. So okay, because this was told to be live on a stream, so. But. We'll have to wait and yeah, see. Yeah, could be. Yeah. And it's really that's I mean it's not a huge thing either if they if they yeah. aren't. Because they have, you know, they got a different group of people to do stuff. But it is a lot of, you know, people that are, have planned on painting for that have got to, you know, pro, you know, provide the appropriate models now. Since if it's not going to be, you know, conquest models, they'll have to make sure that they use non-conquest models. But they're allowed to use... What was the other one that you said that's a that possibly the dragon trappers lodge would be yeah. replacing them yeah because yeah. she asked me if i was painting the drag for resin beast because they were like that's how the whole thing came up as i rated into her oh, okay so yeah i haven't heard anything i didn't see anything i can ask my contacts at creature caster oh. and see what they have to say but it's looking good so far I'm liking this. I'm liking this teal. Uh huh. That is a super pretty teal. Good choices we made. Yeah, this is the face on it. You can kind of see it a little better now. Yes. It's a very foxy. Does it know what the fox say? Doesn't know what the fuck anybody's saying. Skronk. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that I haven't heard anything. I didn't see anything. I tried to look online. Didn't see anything online. Doesn't mean that it's not true. Just not on my sources. Not that I could find readily available. That's fair. So I'll have to, I'll have to check my source material. But I did do some pictures. There were a couple of people asking about the size of the Necrofactorium compared to other models. And I did do a picture um, comparison between it and the Abyssal King. And people are like, holy fuck, that's big. And I'm like, yeah, it's much bigger yeah. than people think. So, and if you wanted to see the pictures, I think it's in on the community page. Mm -hmm. So, all right, that's cleaned up. But other than that, um, getting back to the discussion of hobby and stuff, I try to get I'm going to try to get my two full lists ready for Adepticon for War Machine, which shouldn't be a problem. Should be able to get that done in a few weeks to a month, depending on how my hobby and goes. Because I'll probably hang out with the Fish Jets crew on Monday night. Monday night. And get that that way I can hang out with them and do the hobby there and then that'll be you know a good time because I can always get that painting done 
and then of course Wednesday nights hanging out painting no problem so that's not going to be an issue and then if our new sponsor decides to give me new stuff as I said they were we'll have more stuff to paint with yay all the stuff we like stuff so we'll have more stuffs but we have to wait <clears throat> and check it and see because we got to wait So I'm still trying out these Creature Caster brushes. How do you like them so far? So far, all the, all right. The zero, the tip has already started to bend. So I'm not too happy about that. But I may have to clip it. It's got a little curve on the end of it, so I'm not too happy about that. That is unfortunate. Yep. So going to work with the other, see if it's going to do that with the rest of them. So hopefully it won't, but we will have to wait and see. Um, they're not too expensive for how many you get, but still when you buy a paint, when you buy a brush, you expect the tip not to bend or curl right off the bat. Correct. Valid. I mean, 60 bucks for eight brushes still isn't bad, but still. One of them things, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's wait and see. I'll use some of the other ones and see if they will bend also, or see if the tips will go crooked. Because nobody likes a bent tip. I, almost most of my brushes do. That's one of the other thing I definitely need to switch out some of mine. Because almost every brush has a curled tip now. I've just work them to the bone. Yeah. And I, I mean, I take care of my brushes and clean them and all that stuff, but still. Oh, yeah. I do, too. But sometimes I don't, you know how to, I don't know how to not get a curl. And I mean, I made sure not to get any paint and any of the parts I'm not supposed to. So... Kinda. Just gonna have to do what I got to do. So, Mizzy, have you, uh, are you gonna take pictures of your deuce and show them to everybody since you're pretty much done with deuce? Uh, as soon as I get a base on him, yeah. What kind of base are you going to do? Uh, I think I'm going to do like a grassy field or maybe some gravel. Probably some gravel. Yeah. What are you going to paint the gravel? Who said anything about painting gravel? I got flock for that. Well, then why put gravel on it? Because it's do... multicolored. It, it it comes colored. So you don't paint your bases? No. Well, sometimes. It depends. <laughs> it depends on what I want and how lazy I'm feeling. And yay. Did uh, doing the uh, the no oil. Make it better. Oh yes, made it very shiny. 
<laughs> I might have to go over one part because I think I put too much null neural on it. So just do a touch up. Yeah, but nothing major. And then I got the purple started on the other models. Yeah. You know. I'm excited. But yeah, that, that null normal definitely helped a lot. Um, made it all nice and shiny too. Yeah, no oil will make things kind of stand out and pop a bit. Especially on what you were trying to do with yours, it'll just make it much better. Mm -hmm. So, um, War Budgie, did you, uh, are you working on anything particular since I see you're in the channel? Or who, anybody that's in the channel, are y'all working on anything? Or are y'all just like hanging out and chilling and listening to us talk? The sound of our voices is mesmerizing. Somebody's high as a fucking kite. <laughs> Gonna do the um, so we should be getting our next models for Warcrow pretty soon. Uh, for you that hadn't seen it, Mizzy and I have been doing Warcrow stuff, and we actually really like the game a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we actually got a few people into it because we did demo it at Warfare Weekend. And uh, our good old friend Warbudgie picked up a bunch of stuff too. So um, he'll uh, he'll have to tell you how he likes it. And I'm sure he'll do some cool narrative fun things with it also. Because uh, that's his shtick. And he's good at it. Um, but we've got... Um, our next models slash units coming out, and it's not really units, it's just models. Um, they're the units officers and a super solo um, coming out. And your Mizzy's solo is a uh, orc assassin, pretty much, best way to put it. Yes, she is. Is it a she? Lada is a she. Oh, didn't know. No, there's no. I'm talking about the the blind one. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Let's find out. That the I think Lada is the um, unit attachment. Well done. Yeah, I think Lada is the unit attachment that you're thinking of. The officer. Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Lot is the one with the whip. Yes. She motivates. She gonna whip it real good. She motivates people to do things. Anytime I hear whip it now, I think of the really stupid song that my old roommate and I made up years ago. It was when we were knitters and we were at the yarn shop. If you see the yarn, you must smoosh it. If you really like that yarn, you must smoosh it. If you want to test the yarn, you must smoosh it. Go for Hand straight. Go forward. Squish ahead. I love it. Okay. <laughs> yep. 
here for it. Uh, so the blind one is Dark Master, and that is a he. Okay. Yeah. I thought Dark Master was a he, but yes. Dark yeah, Master. you're you're yeah you're talking with the the chick with the whip, and I'm excited for Lotto. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No problem. Can you whatsoever. blame me? <laughs> no, she looks pretty cool. She looks like a lot of fun. And then I've got finally a new solo and. Um, I still don't have a new uh, army lieutenant, which is weird because you've got two: the bear and what's his face. Alwart. No, yeah, Alwart. Alwart is ice bear, and then um, Alwark. Alwark, and I've still got one, which was interesting. They haven't given me given the hegemony a second character uh second leader model yet which is i just thought that was interesting that they haven't given a yet which we'll have to just see but um yeah because you get we get two unit commanders and then a super solo, and you've got the blind orc, and then I've got the guy with uh, the sword from hell. That Dude, just... he's fucking brutal, man. You don't need another leader. You got him. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking beast and a half. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. But we got those coming out, and then in December, we have a new unit each that are coming out. And I've got a heavy hitting unit, and you've got a scouting unit, I think is what it is. I believe that's correct. No, you've got the tank unit. The guys with the big O shields. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you got the scarred ones, or whatever they're going to be called. The uh, scarred guys. And I get two handed halberdier dudes. So I'm really looking forward to the unit and the super solo because his sword is Barutul. And he can teleport around the battlefield like it's nobody's business. And he will be wrecking units like it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see. So, yeah, the battle scarred is the one you're talking about for me. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Uh, we will actually now have a full 250 points, which is the recommended size of the game, um, with a little bit of extra left over, so we'll be able to tweak our lists and do whatever we need. But we haven't received rules for tournament yet, which is interesting. Hopefully we start to see that soon. Um, cause I'm sure they're really going to do something at Adepticon. I'm sure they're going to do something at Adepticon. What? We don't know yet. I definitely would like to see some narrative stuff. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see a narrative before we see tournament. But we'll have to... Wait on all of that jazz. That'll be the kicker that we're going to have to work on is because I, I mean, I already know, you know, if I have to play the hegemony, I already know what I'm going to be bringing based on whatever they say we're allowed to bring. Uh, someone join? Oh, my. Why didn't y'all tell me I was completely out of focus? What? 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 Somebody joined. I read it. It went by too fast. Slackers. Thank you, whoever joined or followed. We appreciate it. Even though my. Sorry, I was painting. I was it doing my job. Up. It didn't show up in the mod actions. That part. <laughs> 
Well, check out the chat and see who's new in there, and maybe you can tell them thanks for joining. I blame Gonzo. It's all Gonzo's fault, y'all. Whatever. Kiss my butt. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the good fun and everything that's going to come about. Because Warcrow, I like that it's played on a 3x3. Three three. I like the dice system. Um, I like the mechanics. Um, I can't wait till we get all the factions because that's where it's going to really kind of blow up. Um, because I want my elves. Mizzy's going to keep her orcs, but then we all have you know the dwarves and the demons. So it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm, I'm sh interested in the demons, but my primary is definitely going to be my. That works. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious what the rule sets are going to be on the demons, too, because that's going to be a kicker whether, you know, it becomes a second army to pick up or not. Mm -hmm. Because they look legit. Oh, and you actually have models to send to Nerd. Are you done putting together all the Signar stuff? Yes, I am. Okay, so I'll need to come and get the Kador stuff so I can send that to Nerd. And get that to her, which will be a little bit because in case we get our sponsorship stuff, I was just going to send it all at once instead of doing that. Because I also have stickers I got to give to her too. All the things. Yeah, you'll be getting a ton of stuff from us. Oh no, I hate presents. <laughs> We know they're just the worst. Right? Next, you'll have the new stickers, sponsor items, and you'll have to paint up your first war machine models. Assemble and paint. Huzzah. Honestly, they weren't terrible. No, they're pretty easy. To follow. Maybe it'll be a good excuse to try out my speed paints. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do it. If you want to kind of paint on theme, they are considered a... They do use red. If you want okay. to paint on theme, Kador is red. I'm okay with this. I've got plenty of reds. But that's up to you. Nothing says you have to paint them in that color. It do is you your want. army. You do what you want. I do what I want. You do what brings you joy. I try. So... Yeah, because I'll be sending that to you. Stickers, sponsor items. I think that's about it. Unless there's something else that comes up along the way. Yeah. Unless something else comes up. I did get a shipping, partial shipping notice for our new Steamforge stuff that we ordered. Yes. So. You got estimated delivery yet? Nope, not an estimated delivery yet. Fine. Not yet. Just that it is getting ready to ship. So we got that coming up. Um, what else? Because I definitely have to paint. 
the Abyssal King for Mizzy to use at Adepticon. Or all Iron Gauntlet qualifying events so she can play two Abyssal Kings. Because shocker. I mean, if people want me to play at 100 points, that's what they're going to get. Because <laughs> minimal models. Yeah, because 100 points can be a ball buster. For those not used to it. I tried 100 points. I didn't like it. But with gargantuans, hell yes. It's a little in. bit more tolerable. I'm in because less for me to keep up with. Yep. And I don't have decision paralysis. But we would never have that. I know. It's like my brain isn't wired like a neurotypical. <gasps> Shocking, I well, know. Points and screams. Neurodivergent! Neurodivergent! Yeah. Mm. yeah, which will be it says we'll get it won't take me it'll take me a while to paint it up, but it won't be take me too long. Nah. You got till March, it'll be fun. I'm hoping to get all my painting done early enough that I'm not scrambling at the last minute like last year. Yes. That's that's my kicker. That is everyone's kicker. More budgies, are you planning on playing anything at Adepticon? Or planning on going this year? If War Budgies is not at Adepticon, I'm going to be very sad. He may have to work it. Knowing him and being so popular to be in on all these channels talking about things. Because he's been on a lot of channels lately. I saw where he was on Wargamer Girl the other night. <laughs> yep. He's Mr. Popular. All right, let's do some green. That's a very green green. Yeah, it's the neck. It's the necrotic green, tesseract green, whatever you want to call it. It's the green I use for all of my. It's pretty. It's what it is. Greeny yellow stuff. But so I have to get all the cool stuff painted because pretty much once I get um, the these two models and my two units of brute thralls, that's pretty much the entire faction, and it. Mm, Mostly max FA. So I won't have to actually paint really anything else. And, you know, it went until something new comes out. Until they give you more nerd crack. Until they give me more models.
I mean, I won't have to worry about it too, too much. I mean, there we don't we don't have a cadre or anything else planning on coming out, so anytime soon. At least I don't think in before March. I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't seen the timeline of the Crix Colossal be coming out. I'm not sure when that was supposed to be released, but I'm not sure if it's going to be before. I don't think it is. I can't remember if it was supposed to be or not. I couldn't remember the timeline. I don't even know if they even said on the timeline when it was supposed to be. I know that they had... Uh... So on the timeline, I know that they had some mystery releases that they didn't specify what it was. Yeah. So that could be part of that. It could but, you know, be. Speculation of speculation. I don't know shit. Yeah. It's coming together. Look at that texture. That's some nice texture. He's a very he's a very scaly boy. We I got a long way to go. <laughs> That's fun. Mm-hmm. So, I pulled up the the roadmap. February, there's a mystery model, and then March, there's a mystery model with a redacted for something else. And then April and June. Yeah, so, for Adepticon, there's a mystery model, but we don't know what it is yet. Career. It's got wings. I can tell that. Oh, from the 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 silhouette on it. Yep. I have to wait and see because I have no clue what that model would be. But it'd be epic. That's what it is. Yeah, cause I don't know when the they don't say when things are coming out most of the time, but and that's a timeline that it is not a hundred percent yes, that's what it's gonna be. Not guaranteed, it's just you know what we're hoping for. Yeah, so the royal we we have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see on that. Um, but I said after I paint my brute thralls, I should be one hundred percent ready for Adepticon. So it's no big deal. Cause I have the list I'm gonna play, so that is about it. I don't have too many models left to paint. Um, there's some things that I've got details on that I've got to finish. But, you know, brain bloods are detailed little fuckers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Holy barnacles, Batman. <laughs> so, is our chat working? Make sure. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just a quiet night. Just a quiet night, hanging out, chilling. Meow. And it's almost time for media section. Meow. Yep. Yeah, because I think Mizzy said she had like seven things to talk about this time. You lie. I have... I have at least two. Probably three, if 
You give me a minute. I gotta remember. Y'all don't write it down like I do? No, that would require me to be prepared and to think ahead and, you know, have my shit together. Do I look like I have my shit together? Because I don't. <laughs> That's why you're the project manager, and I am the pleb. Thank you very much. Now put your ears on. Oh, finally! At the last, like, 30 minutes of the show? It counts! <laughs> Do it! Do it! Oh, man. Um, so Monday will, of course, be on the... We won't be... We'll be hanging out with some people in the... For people who don't know, the unofficial... Unofficial. Unofficial hobby group to Warfare Weekend. And then Wednesday, of course, most likely Mizzy and I will be on stream and... Is it Mizzy or Nerd this week? Nerd will be on stream. It's me. Okay. I have figured out how to track it now. When we have D&D &D on Tuesdays, I am streaming on Wednesdays. And we do not have D&D &D on Tuesdays. Nerd streams on Wednesdays. Our games are on opposite weeks. Yes. Things with stuff. It happens. It works. It... Gotcha. Chris, it took me until like midweek, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, something like that for me to remember to realize, oh, yeah, that's how I can do this. I can totally keep track of my schedule without, you know, assistance. Oh, I absolutely need <laughs> assistance. It's uh, It's the first thing I see when I open my phone is my calendar. It is smack in the middle of my screen. Yeah, and then hopefully I can get Mizzy to record our Warcrow narrative event. And we can get that published and out for everybody to hear. You said that we were going to do it Tuesday, so I guess we're doing it Tuesday. Yeah, that will not be a live stream because we're going to have to just set everything up. Have the pictures and the things and the stuffs. Yep. Yeah, because we've got a um, slideshow that we need to put up. Which the pictures have been done and they have been sent. So it's not me this time. Nope, I have them. <laughs> you just got to put them up there for us. And we'll talk about it. Talk about our experience with the Warcrow narrative scenario that they had in the uh, two-player starter. Way. Yeah. Technically, I can talk about three because we watched it together. I don't have a lot that I can talk about. I did a lot of catching up and watching of a few of things, but not I a don't... lot. Yeah, I was going to say, I watched one episode of Dragula and some Rings of Power, and that was it. So maybe a short media section time, but... Yeah. 
Well, we're kind of in the middle of like shows coming over or shows being done. Yeah. We're coming into that time where seasons are ending and very few is coming out, so. Shiny Mew Paints, how you doing? Hey, Shiny Mew, what's up? Welcome in. Shiny Mew's the one who gifted me the thick goblin witch that I painted. Yes. We love a thick Hi, goblin Mel, witch. Hi, Mel, how are you? Those guys are almost done. How much time do we have? Four minutes. Actually, we may go a little bit over so I can get some stuff done. Do it. Do it. Wait. There's my little frog. There's my little frog. So we got to get... Um, where is my dropper? There it is. Um, got all that in a bag of chips. So I, uh, found out that one of the shows I've been trying to watch for forever, they added the additional two seasons on the channel, but they didn't add the last season. So I've got to try to find the last season. And I'm kind what, of upset. What show is that? So originally when HBO Max had it, they had the uh, BBC Ghosts on there. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Which, you know, I, I really liked it. That's how I got, you know, watching the other one. I watched that first, and of course, then, you know, the states made their own. And it's not yep, bad. My roommate's been watching that. And it, and it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the American version. It's for the American audience. You couldn't do some of the things that in the UK one for you know American audience. It just doesn't you know fly. translate as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and no big deal. There's not a problem with that. Um, so you know I don't have an issue. But HBO Max had it first, and so we were waiting. I was waiting for the last season because there was a a. F a fourth and a fifth season and HBO Max, I guess, lost the rights to it, uh, to, to run that. So had to try to find someone else. Well, Paramount plus has the rights to the ghost BBC version, but they have all, but the last season. I'm like, son of a bitch. So I've got to find, and it looks like the only way, the only thing I can do is buy the season on Amazon prime. Boo. I mean, it is not expensive. It's not expensive. It's fourteen bucks for the entire season, so it's not bad. It's just nah, that's not terrible. Yeah, I'm just like bummer. Just like meh. There's other things that you want and need to buy, like 3D printers. That you're like. Why do I have to pay for shows when I could, you know, just have to stream? Yeah. So I may have to just purchase that seat just so I can finish watching it because I wanted to see the entire final season and watch it. But All right, peeps, it's 8 o'clock. Give me a second. I am almost done. I want to get this wash on here so I can let it sit and dry so I can finish this model tomorrow. Because it'll be fished at pink time. I'm priming an owlbear butt. You're priming an owlbear butt? Yep. Is it like Mike Tyson's butt? I don't know. I didn't watch that. Uh, it's all over the place, so you didn't have to watch it. I'm sure it is, but I'm not on that side of the internet. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I did try to watch that, and of course, Netflix has totally screwed the pooch on this one. Netflix wasn't ready. No, they were not. That's all I know. Um, 
one of my friends had Snapchatted me saying how everybody else was watching the fights. And because I was so tired, I read that as, while well, everybody else is watching the flights. And I'm like, flights? What? How? Huh? Silly goose me. Okay, so let me get the rest of this on here. Look at this. I really like this. So I'm doing, of course, purple on the miniature, but I'm washing it with uh, Duncan Rhodes, the two thin coats, Amethyst Rain. And it's a mm. blue purple. And so I'm just washing it in here and it does so, it makes it look so ghostly and, you know, really goes well with a the theme that I'm trying to get with this army. So I'm like really digging it and using it as a wash has been really good. So I tried doing like the highlighting up the purple and all that other stuff. And it just didn't give the, you know, ghostly incorporeal type look that I wanted. And just washing this in has done really, really good. Almost. Say almost. Just got to. Get this done. I know this isn't like our normal episode that we do because it's not like a super hot topic, but. We did talk about some things that were very important to us. All right. So let's switch over. Okay. Up my stuff. Ooh. Rotate the camera around. Hey, you have some scaly scales going on. I do. Some good stuff. <sighs> So uh, I'll go ahead and start the hobby. I'll go ahead and start the, our media section. So one thing I'm going to talk about, and it's not a media review, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, if people don't know, um, a new show is coming on HBO Max. Um, and, uh, of course, I finished The Penguin um, last week and everything, which is great, awesome show. If you're not watching it, go watch it. It's amazing. Zero space RPs. But HBO Max has a new uh, show coming out, and it's Dune Prophecy. Uh, it yes, is, I want to watch that. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm kind of – no no judgment or anything on it, uh, but the Dune stuff is very, you know, can be very heavy on the artiste style of things so we'll have to wait and see but it looks really nice looks a lot of, like a lot of fun um looks like it's gonna be a good drama sci-fi drama and it's of course way in the past from the dune movies that we're used to seeing so i don't know about it i don't you know have anything or understand about it so i'm just waiting for it and i'm really looking forward to it once i get done here and the tv is free i will definitely be watching the dune prophecy since it came out tonight so, other than that, um, the first thing I am going to talk about is I um, watch the next season, I should say part two of the last season of Cobra Kai. Um, so, of course, Cobra Kai is the story of, you know, the Karate Kid after, you know, blah, blah, blah with Ralph Macchio. I think it started as a YouTube channel, then got out, by, bought out my Netflix. Netflix took it over. And this is the last season. It's a three-part last season. <laughs> I'm like, you could have just made it another season, guys, and just gone with it. But um, I'm glad they're ending it because we're getting to the part where we're almost jumping the shark on a lot of things. Oh, this happens again. How how many times can we, you know, have this stuff? 
Um, there's still some good lines, uh, some good martial arts, um, some fun stuff. It's not anything serious. Um, but I'm glad that it's ending because I can see that this is getting just, it, 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 we're just rehashing old stories and old things constantly. And it's happened quite a bit in this part two or three last season. Um, but what got me really excited is, um, we're going to, a bunch of new stuff coming. So, um, I'm enjoying it. Still good. Still good music. We'll just have to wait and see. I'll give it a final rating. Uh, I think February is the last season. So we'll just have to wait and see. Mizzy. Uh, so my first one is one that I just remembered. And I cannot believe that I almost forgot it. Because, oh my fucking god, this thing is so adorable. Okay, so it's on Disney+. Plus. Um, it's quick, five-minute little short. Uh, it's called The Boy and the Octopus. Okay? Um, and it's... A holiday thing, but I'm not mad at it because of how fucking adorable this octopus is, okay? <laughs> so so this little boy, like, he's he's at the beach with his family on vacation, you know, does the whole thing, goes into the ocean and finds this little octopus and then emerges back out with it stuck on its head. And it's just so fucking cute. Oh my god. Okay. So, um, and then, you know, at first he's upset, but then, you know, he's like, okay, actually, this is kind of cool. And then they, they go through this whole thing, and it's just super adorable. Highly recommend Zero Space Harpies. Go watch it. Oh, my God. Yes. There's my freak out. <laughs> Nerd. Uh, so I watched the uh, Dungeons and Drag Queens episode of Dragula for the season of Titans. Uh, and they, they had some very, very talented people on this season. Like one person did, uh, a very World of Warcraft inspired troll. Uh, it looks so good. Uh, there was a there was a couple of orcs, th- uh, and then one person did a gu- one of the they had two winners. Uh, one was the troll, and the other was a goblin. But the other goblin, okay, when you picture goblins, you do not picture shiny sequined gold and black fabric. <laughs> I do not think goblin when I see that fabric, and unfortunately. I think that's what lost them uh, this particular episode. So, but it was fun watching like the creativity go into all these costumes and craziness. So, it's a reality show, so I don't really know what kind of a score I can give it. Uh, I <laughs> guess a half, and that that half is just for it's a reality television show. <laughs> it's a reality competition <laughs> show. Otherwise. Yeah, no, they finally got better writing. Um, they super, super talented people, and people did people did good jobs. Anyway, Gonzo? Um, this one's less of a review and more than I'm uh, excited for, because when I went to Disney+, Plus, because uh, I was watching Deadpool and Wolverine is now on Disney+, Plus, so you can watch it for free now. Yay! Yay. Um, I went and... Uh, started that up and of course it now has a little preview of things coming up and i'm really looking forward to what uh disney's going to be bringing to us not only in marvel but in all the other things uh things i'm looking forward to is iron heart um which looks to be really really fun uh teenage iron man for people who don't know uh female iron man and, and that's just giving you a, a, a snippet because that's not exactly who it is but um, I'm looking forward to that. That seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, of course, Dead uh, Daredevil, uh, Born Again. Really looking forward to that because it's the same crew coming back and just doing, you know, Daredevil the way it was supposed to be, and cannot wait to see that. It's going to be really good. Um, and then, um, oh, I can, it just left my brain. Um, uh, the new Disney series, uh, the new Star Wars series. Uh, oh, it's um, well, Skeleton one. Crew. Skeleton Crew. Uh, 
Skeleton which everybody's Skeleton. calling Go- Goonies Star Wars. Uh, I'm yes. real looking forward to that because uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to be very, very uh, interesting. I mean, Jude Law is in it, and he plays, we think he plays a Jedi. So, um, fingers crossed. It just looks like it's going to be a great, you know, uh, you know, I'm not looking forward, you know, to, you know, awesome, you know, deep thought story. I'm looking to a bunch of kids that get, you know, ra- wrapped up in something they shouldn't be. And Jude Law is a Jedi trying to help them out. Fingers crossed he's a Jedi. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. There's a ton of stuff that's coming out that I'm just really excited for, uh, for Disney plus. So nice. we'll get some of that stuff. Mizzy. Uh, I finally got to finish Agatha all along and I was not disappointed. Uh, it's <laughs> really great. Uh, I love what they did with it. I can finally give it an official, as far as I'm concerned, zero space herpes. <clears throat> and I'm not mad that I'm not getting more. Yeah, because this is a it. yeah, it's one season, so I like how they ended it. They they tied up everything that they needed to. Uh, it was really great. Good. Nerd. Um, I started season two of Rings of Power. Uh, because when I started it a couple months ago, I was like, I don't remember some of this stuff in the, <laughs> in the like recap. <laughs> um, so I had to go back and rewatch season one. But um. I'm curious to see where things go because I'm only, like I said, two episodes in. So um, I'm liking it so far. I enjoy the characters. Uh, the, the costuming is amazing in this show. Like just the art direction. Um, uh, whoever their production designer is. Mwah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so far I'm going to give it like one. So we'll see, how, we'll see what score I give for the rest of the season. Gonzo. Um, so of course we're, we're in the time of period of a TV that for me, that it's we're in between seasons or very few things are starting up or whatever. And so I was like, let me see if I can, you know, uh, Netflix has the rights to or is, is showing off certain things from AMC and the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon season for I think first season is on there. And so I was like, oh, let me give it a shot. And I like the character Daryl Dixon. I think he's great. Um, I think, you know, I didn't have a problem with the Walking Dead. So I was like, oh, whatever. I just can't get into it. I really cannot get into the show at all. I've I'm two episodes in, of course they're an hour, you know, or 45 minutes long and I just can't get into it. So I'm just like, meh. Um, one for people that know, don't know. And, I, and it's hard to believe that Daryl Dixon goes from America to Europe and he doesn't know how he got there. And it's just kind of like, it's way too far fetched in this world where, we barely have electricity, but he gets going to Europe. Um, yeah. And so it's just a little too far-fetched to me. I, I couldn't get into it there. So I'm just like, nah, I'm just going to let it go. Um, so just not my cup of tea. So sorry. Mizzy? Uh, so we were trying to figure out what to watch. And Eric is like, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch that. Rah, 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 rah. Um, but we finally got to settle on something that is new to me, but not something for her. And I watched a show from the nineties called absolutely fabulous. (laughs) Um, wow. Yeah. (laughs) Is that not Tara and I? Yes. Now that I think about it more and more. Absolutely. Yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. That Uh, that would be Tara and I, if we were British. So I cannot give it a full rating because I did check out and t- take a nap during part of the episodes, but she watched the entire first season. Um, but I watched like four of them. And if you like British humor uh, and sassy drug addled middle-aged women, middle-aged women, then yeah, go for it. This is, this is your show. <laughs> been a long time since i've watched it i may have to rewatch that i think you should 
What was it on? Uh, Disney. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. I don't have anything else. Wow. Gonzo? Um, so I started the next watch of Arcane, uh, the last season. There, they released three more episodes. Uh, I'm not fully through these last three, but I mean, the artwork in this is still great. Story is fine. Um, it's pretty much the the basics of the story is the down and destitute poor rising up against the rich, in kind of the way that you know this is what kind of is what it is. Um, it's not bad. Um, but it's definitely, um, a good series. I'm enjoying it. Uh, like I said, I love the art. Music is much better in this one. We've got a lot more music. I'm going to see if uh, I can get the soundtrack because I'll listen to it because it's got a, a lot of good stuff in it. Um, this is the last season. They're only doing two, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. So we'll have to check it out. Uh, but enjoying it so far. Mizzy? Um... So this one is actually a song continuing on my, you know, <laughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hyperfixation kind of currently comfort music of a stuff. Uh, the band You're Pretty, who is also known as Dixon Dallas for their country stuff, released a new song called Right Now. And it is. Yes, it's still in the same vein of everything it's what you would expect from this person and my brain is very happy <laughs> <laughs> so still not my favorite hasn't dethroned uh just keep writing me but it's up there it's it's a jam i'm here for it yeah so it, it, it's a good beat uh mm -hmm. i'm still watching uh Dandadan, Dan, which is on Netflix. It's an anime. Um, it's getting better. Um, the first two episodes were less creepy. Uh, the first episode were kind of a creepy feeling, and then it gets away from that, and it gets a little bit better anime stuff, and you get more characters and more characters join the show and stuff. And so far, it hasn't been too bad. This is definitely much better than I thought it was going to be, and so I'm hoping it just gets a little bit better and better and better as we're going along. So... Um, also, I did watch um, the newest episode of Great British Baking Show. Uh, was still good, still happy about it. Um, didn't have any issues with it and uh, was just okay. Um, Mizzy, do you have anything? I think that's it. Uh, I was going to touch on that we watched um, Ghost UK, but you kind of already covered that. Yeah, I definitely watched, uh, like I said, I... I I like that. I like the Ghost UK, and I'm, I want to watch the final season of that because that was the final and end, uh, which is very interesting. The British people, British shows, they usually have an ending. They usually don't cancel stuff a lot, so it usually gets going and then it's there and then it's going. Um, and like they only had like five seasons, and the Ghost US, I think we're on season seven already. You know, so it's like we, you know, we push a lot um, and. Each one of them have their own quirks and deals with it, but it's still pretty decent. Um, the no pants guy. I, and what? The no pants guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is you think about it in um, in uh, the European one, there, there's like a counterpart to each one of them. Uh, there's a little bit different, like in the UK, they have a Cro-Magnon type, you know, Neanderthal. And uh the american version it's an american indian so and that's kind of where they're kind of doing it and they still have a no pants guy one's a wall street guy and the other one was a parliament guy um they were both womanizing you know dickheads type thing um i did like the scene where they realized that he had not been sober for all those years, he had actually been a little tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he died uh, <laughs> while tipsy. Um, and there, there's parables between each one of them. Of course, certain comedies would not work, you know, over here uh, type thing. So we're, we're trying to figure out what's, you know, what, what's going on. But for the most part, they, they, they both have their, you know, their, their wins and losses. And, you know, you couldn't put, you know... Yeah, a person from Parliament into, uh, you know, the American version. So it's not that big of a deal. 
Um, I'm catching up on shows. Um, definitely looking forward to uh, the new Star Trek uh, Academy that's coming out uh, because found out that Tilly, and I can't remember the character's name, the mechanic, okay. what's her face? Um, the the engineer lady with the short hair, she is uh, in it. Tig, Tig, T- Tig. Tig. Tig uh, from Discovery are going to be playing part their roles in the Academy, which is really good. Uh, I'm I'm really really happy about that. So we know that the Starfleet Academy, I guess, is going to be in the future when they're rebuilding Starfleet Academy, which is good because now you're not tied to a timeline and you can make up new shit as you're going along. So pretty happy with that. I'm looking forward to that because it's already been renewed for a season two. We haven't even seen season one yet. So. Stuff. Yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to, we're, we're getting through things. Um, another quick thing, I did get and watch or read uh, Everyday Heroes for um, Red Hat Games, 5th edition, modern. That's all it is. Uh, they give you the rules for 5th edition, modern. Um, so I haven't had a chance to look at the supplements that came with it. Um, so, but. If you know 5th edition, you can make it. I would like, and they give you stuff on how to make like aliens and, you know, dinosaurs and stuff like that. So I figured it would be really good if you knew, like if you want to run a Stargate uh, RPG, this would be the perfect one. It could be a 5th edition Stargate RPG. Because they give you actually some stuff that really much would fit that right there. So... All right, folks, I do believe that is it. Everybody's gotten all their media sections out. We will be hitting out a little bit short tonight. Uh, don't forget to join us Wednesday night as myself and Nerd will be streaming. Don't forget to check out Nerd's channel also where you can watch other shenanigans. And not next week, but the week after that, all three of us are going to be playing in a D&D game. So everybody's looking forward to that. I actually get to play instead of run for a chance or a change, I should say. I'll be playing my uh, rogue merchant um, and having a good old time. So we'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. But uh, guys, we really appreciate you listening. Please make sure that you look after each other. Please make sure you talk to each other. Please make sure you check in on each other. We have to do that now. For more than dice, I'm Gonzo. I'm Nerd. And I'm Captain Izzy. Good night. Thanks for listening to More Than Dice. Making the world a better, nerdier place, one dumb joke at a time. Be sure to subscribe wherever you heard this podcast so you never miss a future episode. For more nerdy action or to connect with your hosts, check them out on Facebook.com slash more than dice and twitch.tv slash more underscore then underscore dice. Until next time, stay nerdy, stay proud, and we'll see you soon on the More Than Dice podcast.